Good morning, campers. This is Crusader Rabbit KBNY 5962 starting our broadcasting today. And today, for your viewer enjoyment, we're going to be bringing you the uh, Contax G1 camera body and lens attachment procedure. Or at least the procedure that I use to attach a G1 G2 lens to a G1 G2 body. It's a little different than a regular bayonet mount, so let's get started and see what the differences and see what the similarities are. First of all, let's take the body cap off of the, this is a G1 body, and as you can see, the G1 has a little red dot here on the G1 body lens flange. <clears throat> and you use that to align with the lens. Uh, sounds kind of like a standard bayonet mount, right? Okay, let's let's go ahead and take a look at the lens now for a minute. This is a, uh, a G-series lens and let's go ahead and take the back end lens cap off. So far it's sounding pretty much like a regular bayonet mount, right? And uh, let's see here Ah, uh, right here you can see the red dot on the lens that you're going to align with the red dot on the on the uh, body which is uh, over there somewhere off camera. So uh, I'll mention uh, something about these uh, copper gold contacts a little later. Uh, another thing to uh, pay attention to is where the uh, uh, motor drive this little uh, flathead blade here attaches to the lens here. So with the red dot on top, you can see that the uh, insertion point for the for that flathead motor drive is kind of in a uh, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock position. And if you take a look at the G body, the uh, flathead is in kind of a 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock position. I always try to keep those uh, kind of aligned when I'm doing this procedure. So, on the lens I'm going to have three rings. I'm going to have a ring for the uh, that changes the aperture, the aperture settings. This is, this is changing your, your apertures. And uh, there's going to be a ring that I call the breech ring and then there's going to be a, a ring that I call the, the A ring. Uh, there's, there's kind of like a little plastic attachment on this ring that kind of lets you uh, hold it. So let's go ahead and attach the or let's, let's align the red dot on the G series lens with the red dot on the G series camera. So we're going to take this and we're going to put it right down onto the camera like this and let it kind of fall into place. Now uh, while the lens is sitting perfectly flush against the body, remember this this is what this is the ring that's closest to the to the body, I'm going to hold on to that and not let it move. And then I am going to take a grasp of this, what I called it, the breech ring. And I am going to take that, and while I'm holding the A ring very flat against the body of the camera, I'm going to turn the G ring or, or the uh, breech ring. Did you hear that click? That click lets you know that the camera is now attached properly, affixed to the body. And then, and, and all of this I always do when the camera is in the off position. Now I would say that it is, it is safe to turn the camera to the on position uh, if you uh, want to, you can go ahead and uh, 
kind of verify that you can you can you can hear it trying to focus so you you know the motor drive is is working properly and that is how I put a G series lens on a G series body to take it off it's uh, a lot simpler you just take this little button here and depress it oh well uh, I would say turn off the camera first there we go then I would say go ahead and depress this and you can turn the breech again uh, this time I'm turning counterclockwise and then the lens uh, will come off of the body and in doing it this way uh, none of the little pins here are, are going to get bent or damaged and on the lens none of the contacts here are going to get bent and damaged that's why when you when you put the when you when you align the the red dot with the red dot and it, it goes down onto the body flush that's why you don't move it anymore because you don't want that that a ring moving so that uh, that uh, might so that the contacts might come off the pins and then rotate and bend uh, adjacent pins and and you only rotate the uh, B ring the the breech ring until you hear the click and then you know that the lens is smartly affixed to the camera body and then at that time again it's uh, safe to go ahead and turn the camera on anyway that's uh, really the only reason I made this video so I'd like to say thanks for tuning in hope you enjoyed the show this is Crusader Rabbit KBNY 5962 ending our broadcasting day ah, good night campers